go to his second treatment, what did you learn in that class or in that experience? Yeah, I think just setting boundaries. Um, not saying yes to everything so willy-nilly, um, having intention with a lot of those things, um, and to understanding what's important. Um, winning baseball games, being here with the guys, uh, being able to play baseball in general, I think those are things that I have to keep in the in, in right in front of me. So I think that's that keeps me keeps me centered. Steve, you've been unofficially reading the and for a while now. Today, you have enough experiences to qualify. What does that mean to you? Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think it's a bigger indicator that, you know, the injury is kind of behind now. Um, that was a big thing that was kind of if not my identity, but that was definitely a big thing on my mind. Um, kind of seeing the injury happen, going through the rehab process and then be able to come back from that. Um, it's not regulated, but it's it's nice to see there's some space between me and the injury. Well, what's it like to, to watch him hit? I mean, it's like 12, three hit games now and where he comes to short his shoulders. Um, what's it like watching him do his thing? I mean, yeah, it seems like a normal thing by now, um, but no, it's super special. Um, you know, I get to see, you know, from a closer space than most, um, just the kind of preparation that he puts in day in and day out. Um, it's super special and he's just so disciplined with his work. So, you know, it doesn't shock me at all. Um, you know, the kind of results that he's getting in game just because of how much he prioritizes, you know, himself, his mindset um, <clears throat> and the preparation that's needed in order to go out there and compete. Hopefully so. Oh, it's been it's been a really good um you know kind of stretch as of late you know feeling really good um especially my mechanics and the stuff that we've been focusing on in the cages um but outside of that I mean I really just um looking to the guys that are around me um you know I've spoken a lot about the support that they've had for me you know just kind of continuously telling me to, you know, keep going on. It's a long season. Um, and just to keep my head in the right spot. Um, Steven, you know, being one of them, um, it's super special. And, you know, I really am, you know, I don't take those guys for granted, those moments, you know, because they really helped, you know, kind of give me some success to this point, you know, just got to continue to go on and, you know, continue to do what I can to be, you know, competitive um, uh, batter. And, you know, just look to the guys around me for that support like they've been doing to this point. Well, what was working for Lively today, and what's it like to catch him? Uh, I think everything was working, you know, just kind of really establishing the heater early. Um, something that um, he's definitely created his identity around is, um, you know, having both of those heaters and really attacking the zone. Um, and also, you know, kind of going at them with um, that slider, mixing in the curveball and the changeup too. So I think just really being efficient as well. Um, all those things working together has really you know, kind of giving him some length through so many games, um, even today. So um, it's so easy working with him. Um, you know, I feel like we work really well together. We're always on the same page. Um, and, you know, he just throws everything with such conviction and such confidence that, you know, I have all the, the utmost confidence in him understanding that he's going to go out there and compete for us. Well, what is the mental rotation? I mean, when he signed in December, people just kind of looked at it as, okay, maybe there's some protection for Columbus or whatever, and he's really stepped up and done his job. Uh, it's it's huge. It's amazing. I mean, if you ask him, he's always understood what um, his identity is and, you know, how important he is. Um, and I think that that's something that we realized quick, uh, especially, you know, losing a couple arms, um, like important arms really early. Uh, he understood that there was um, an opportunity in front of him and he really went at it head on and he's really shown us what he's really about. Um, he's an incredible pitcher. And, you know, to be able to, you know, share that part of the game with him is super, super special. It's been fun. For either of you guys, what's it like just seeing young player after young player come up? What's the dugout like when Angel's Martinez is doing his thing and the short time that he's had? Yeah, I think it's super exciting. Um, I was telling Dre out there, but I think seeing those guys so excited about every moment, um, it kind of reminds us how 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 special it is to be here. And then they're obviously super talented. So, I mean, when they get going and they get their extra base hits and they're fired up, I mean, we can't help but be fired up too. I think the momentum definitely comes from them. Um, and they've been helping us win some really important games. So we're super happy they're here. And it's it's just fun seeing how ready they are. You know, the White Sox have played well against you guys, but you win another series. So what is the key to you guys bouncing back with after a game that didn't go the way you wanted? Uh, I think it really just starts with getting back to uh, the identity, the identity that we've created, which is playing the game hard, no matter who is um, on the other side of the field and just controlling the things that we can control. I think that when we do that, we have um, good energy in the dugout. 
um, you know, good things really come together for us. So, you know, I think that today was um, a big day for that. And we really showed, you know, that, um, you know, we're, we're a team that's going to compete. We're a team that's going to always go out there and, and play the game the right way and, you know, just kind of let the results handle themselves. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.